For what purpose does the gentleman from Georgia seek recognition? Ash unanimous consent to address the House for one minute and to revise and extend my remarks. Without objection, the gentleman is recognized for one minute. Mr. Speaker, I rise today to celebrate the Stewart Candy Company's 100th anniversary. Founded in 1922 by James Ernest Stewart in Waycross, Georgia, the Stewart Candy Company has grown into a multi-million dollar candy business that distributes their products nationwide. From its humble beginnings, where Ernest would package his candies in cigar boxes and deliver them in his Model T, to a massive company that sells candies with the click of a button, 100 years is truly worth celebrating. After Ernest's son, James, graduated from the University of Georgia and served three years in the United States Army, he came home to work at the family business. James, better known as Papa, molded and fashioned Stuart candies into a modernized business production fit for the next generation of Stuarts. Four of Papa's six children came to work for the company and organized the Stuart Distribution Company, a new division of the candy company. Jump to today and Stewart Candy Company is still making their pure sugar, soft peppermints, and many different flavors such as banana pudding, key lime, and cinnamon. The company has gone from just three employees to 240 employees and works every day to spread the joy of their candies to every American. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back.